Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Big Wavy Roy Johnson here. This is the professional Nathan Cruz. Yo, this is my Mike Dorees. Hi, this is Tom Thelma. This is Benji. This is the Asian sensation Kanji. This is the Nightmare Fuel Hustle Malone. This is Joe Rage, the heavyweight classic. This is Mad Dog, Old Dockery. This is Tonga. I'm the Breaker, Carl Kingsley. This is the infamous Cameron Solis. And you're listening to... And you're listening to... You're listening to... Broken but Glorious. Broken but Glorious. To Broken but Glorious podcast. Because like me, you are head to toe. A pro. Hello, welcome to Rookie Glorious on BBGWrestling.com. I'm Chris Lappin, and it's, and it's cloudy of a chance of Nick Davy. Wow, good evening. <laughs> I'd like to be joined by your girlfriend's favourite podcaster, Lance Rivera. Hello. <laughs> you both well? I'm very well, I'm always well. I love it indeed, being well. I'm in a delightful mood. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always. Well, how exactly? Yeah, it's, I know it's January, and they, they do say that the, the experts say apparently this is the most depressing week of, well, of the year, um, mm. this week after sort of into the new year and everything, because you're so far from payday, and people like me who get paid before payday are absolutely skin. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy as Larry. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm happy. Happier than Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Lance, we were at TNT on Thursday and Sunday, and Sam oh, Hill cost you twice. <laughs> I mean, what a great commentator. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic man. It's funny that when, when you're watching it, you can only hear, hear Sam Hill, you can't hear Mark Adams talking. Oh, no. <laughs> you say, Sam and Hill commentators in the whole thing. <laughs> I would like Sam Hill to know. Yeah. I've got a question about this show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, a little birdie tells me someone uh, went out first in the rumble. It's the sound of him. <laughs> Can we just compare with the rest of them? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you got you you into the rumble and you're a little house on fire doing your super kicks and everything. And then start talking to Simon Hill. Sorry, I said to me. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, he's chatting away to the fucking country, thinking he's fucking gay. Chatting away. All happy days ago, saying, oh, I want to get in, he's to do more. Fuck it. I might have heard this. I'm sure you are. And we both southern. Well, I think with Simon Hill, he's obviously a very well spoken man. Um, uh, I think he was just merely trying to point out where you're going wrong in your career. Well, then. What are you doing in my career? Exactly, I, I feel like with this wrestling career we need to get you a few more dubs. You need a few more dubs. I'm soon to be the wrestler I'm going to be. I'm going to win the Contenders Rumble or Tournament for the King of Wrestling Championship as well. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going wrong. I'm like, oh, you're going wrong. Don't talk to me about where I'm going wrong. <laughs> Me and Simon Hill are going to be honest. Wrong words. Wrong words. The next time you're going to see Simon Hill, obviously. It is, yeah. Which I won tickets to. Wrong words. Fly the motion. And I, I won tickets in the raffle to it. <laughs> so just just book the tickets. The main tickets. And the... Won the tickets to what? You beat up Simon Hill. <laughs> oh, if Simon gets to the rumble, I'd love that. <laughs> number 20. Simon. I hope he does. I That'll beg and plead that he gets in the rumble. I beg and plead he gets in that rumble. Oh, I hope they hope they do make this into a story line. It could be fun. Story, <laughs> story. This, is, oh, story. this is real life. <laughs> anyway, um, after rumble wow. at TNT, it was won by JJ yeah. Webb, which I thought was quite a surprise. I had money on other people that were winning. I'm quite happy for JJ. It's a good opponent. Wait, for hold on. Why are you putting these bets on? <laughs> You, you said you put money on this. Why I, did, did you put I, did, I didn't put money on it. You said you money. So in, my, in my head, it was going to be. Oh. Who did I think it was going to be? You think it's going to be me? Yeah. Well, I want, uh, my, my heart wanted it to be you. Yeah. <laughs> what did your head say? I don't I, I, I didn't have a cat in hell's chance. I kind of thought it was going to be a heel, because Cameron's still champion, so I thought maybe Shreddy. Shreddy versus Cameron could have been a fun match. Or, let's see what. I might have had Big Joe as well. So, mm-hmm. But then Big Joe's probably going to go into a feud of Simon. No, I'm guessing. But yeah, JJ Webb's a good, a good, a good, it's going to give Sa- uh, Cameron a good match. 
I'm guessing at the next show on the 6th. Mm. Well, I'll be there. Will you be there? I'm hoping to be there. So, so it depends how much money I spend in I don't see <laughs> the week before. I say I'll be there. I might just be able to spill it. You have to see. You can wait and see, do you know what I mean? But I think you should buy tickets. Yeah. Um, Kid Like Us 2 versus Camus so It's a full match for the championship. I'm going to um, Scott Overman put his ignition career on the line against um, Tom Farewell. He put his number one contendership briefcase on the line. That was another really fun match. I, I implore anyone to go watch this on Power 4 TV when it comes out. RPD versus Sona. I was not expecting RPD to win. Ripida. Ripida, yeah. Ripida. As, 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 I would thought, because Sona was champion four shows ago, so I may have had, yeah, so I thought it was quite a shock, because Fitness is RPD's first solo match in mission. He's only been in the six man tag before this. I know he lost a, he lost the match on the VIP pre show on TNT Extreme, so Sona. So it's kind of one one now, but oh, it's a match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a that was a fun match. I, I am like, and the storyline seems to be, um, so every wrestler seems to try and just out wrestle RPD because they don't think he because he's a boxer, but then he just shows that he is a wrestler. I didn't try to box him. Mm-hmm. I just uh, tried to beat him up. Yeah. <laughs> was, uh, yeah. But based on his last two matches I've seen, him versus Pitbull and him versus Sonner. The early stages are just in trying to get them to the mass and get them in holds and yep. put submissions. That seems to be their plan. So it's quite a fun story. It's a really interesting way it goes because I would have had maybe him lose and then maybe win the next two matches and then finally beat Sonner. That shows that he's progressed. But, but yeah, it was a really fun match. And Chase Alexander versus Jimmy Jackson is just got to be a fun match. Oh, that was quality. That, <laughs> that was a quality match. Yeah, I've been speaking to Chase today. He's agreed to an interview, so hopefully near future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's coming on. Use my name as a selling point. <laughs> right, I get all the people on. You say, "Oh, I'm very good at podcasts." Like, oh my god, of course. You like you like Rachel's photo. So. That's, 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 uh, like, fair enough. Fair enough. So it's, so it's Rachel getting all the guests on, but they're taking good photos. <laughs> she's a good, she's a good photographer. Mm-hmm. A super kick photo she took of you. I thought that was really good. It was. It was quality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Thursday night, I got very, very drunk. So as the night got... <laughs> he did. He was absolutely hammered. <laughs> well, I got over to town at like three o'clock. So he so was just the... taking in the sights. You thought you had to go straight to a pub. Well, Rachel, Rachel wanted smashed. me to put something in the bank. And that took a minute. And then Joel wanted me to look for a Funko for him, which took ten minutes. And I was like, okay. What was it? Uh, and my hero, Academ- Academia, Funko. It's a manga thing, thing, manga. Okay. Anime, it's an anime thing. I just went to the section and I just got my phone out and got my Facebook. I was like, any of these, the one you want? Because he kept telling me the name of the thing. And I was like, I can't, I can't remember that Japanese name. <laughs> so, <laughs> <is> any of <laughs> you? <laughs> and it was, yeah, no, it wasn't there. Yeah, so that's, yeah, so I just went to Lloyd's Bar and just had five pints of salad by the time we started. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sat, sat there for two, two and a half hours. So I'm proud of that. He's already drunk. Mm-hmm. Ah, maybe that put you off. You, maybe that put you off. Oh, it was fucking salmon. Oh. And it was very fun. I sat, I sat in a booth with um, Count Lee. That's fun. Big up Count Lee. Yes. He told me he, he got his gimmick from that his, dad, his dad's shoot, the real name is Christopher Lee, so that's where he got his name from, Count Lee. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That's true. <laughs> yeah, and then um, Andre Decker and Ryan Hunter joined us. For the main show, which was a lot of fun. So. I was up in the balcony, staying away from Ryan Hunt from Simon Hill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, as I say, I, I implore anyone to go watch any of these shows on Power 4 TV when they're out. That's a, bit of, a lot of fun. And that's my first time. The Playboy Prince, from Lance Rivera, the greatest wrestler of all time. Yes, yeah, so you can see highlights of Lance's match on my YouTube channel. There's like two minutes of highlights. And they're absolutely quality. You should go watch him. You should go watch him. You should leave the podcast on. Mm-hmm. Listen to us. Listen to my sweet, dulcet tones. And also have me on your laptop. Winning matches. That's what you should do right now. Okay. Yeah, and as, as I said, I won the raffle. Got Odyssey Pro Wrestling tickets. So I'm guessing you're in the rumble. He's coming to watch me win. Watch me win. 
phone to watch me win. Na 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 na. I love it. I love, I love, I love, I... Simon Hill. Beat <laughs> up Simon Hill. I love, I love a good rumble, but the card stacked. That was it, you know, Ryan Hunter versus Nathan Cruz for the championship. Me. If it wasn't yeah. for Simon Hill. Lorna Austin versus Tonga for the Women's Championship. First time ever, one-on-one, Alexis Falcon versus Gio Adams. So, and then yeah. a rumble. So, 20 man, 20 man, I said it's not person, so it's all men. So, yeah, I love a good rumble. Um, yeah, it's going to be, yeah. Big boy <laughs> adventure away from me and Joel. So, yes, I can't wait for you to win. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Like the yes. yes. And then you see if you kick Simon over the side road to win. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hello, my name's Simon Hill, and you're listening to Broken But Glorious Wrestling. This is one of the best podcasts around. Don't miss it. So, Lance, you have new merch. Do you want to... I do, I do, I do. Spread the good word. I have lots of new merch and dice. So, live right now at launchavera12.bigcartel.com, you can get two new launchavera signed prints. and. You can now order your Lance Rivera. I don't know what, I don't know what we call that actually. But I suppose I've got it on my store as Anna's favourite, as it is inspired by the core team's album. Anna? Yes. I would go there right now. I would get your hands on it. There is limited supply. It is a limited run. You'll regret it if you don't get it. Our very own I bought one today. There we go, it's <laughs> the first one to buy one. <laughs> I literally got an Instagram message going, when are they available? Next thing mm. I know, I've got a notification saying that someone's ordered it. <laughs> and I did not know that your middle name began with a J. Yes, John. Oh! Oh, that's my middle name as well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where John came from. There's, there's, no, yeah, there's, there's no Johns in our family, from what I know of, so I have no idea where it came from. <laughs> John, Jacob, Jingle, Heimer, Schmidt. That's his name was mine, my name too. too. <laughs> Whenever I go out, go out the people always shout. There goes John, Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any shows uh, for most? Have you got that then between uh, now and Odyssey? Or? Uh, no, the next one is Odyssey on the 29th of January. As Simon Hill will feel the wrath of the Playboy Prince. Yes. I'm also in a rumble yeah. where I'm going to win and then I'm going to go on to wrestle Ryan Hunter again and I'm going to beat him. Either that or I'm going to wrestle Nathan Cruz and I'm going to beat him as well. Oh, you versus Nathan Cruz will be fun. I'm kind of liking the new Nathan Cruz character. I'm looking forward to seeing it live. What it's I've seen online. Nathan Cruz. Mm. Yeah, he top bloke. I can't believe it was like 2019. Okay. I interviewed him. It was a few years. Yeah. He's a guest, isn't it? Long ago. Yeah. See, I remember you doing that. Yeah. I remember being dead excited that you were doing it as well. <laughs> but That's fun. If he wins the OPW Championship, I will win the Rumble and then I will beat him. Yes. But if Ryan Hunter wins, I will then win the Rumble, then beat Ryan Hunter and stuff. Ideally, for, for my own ego's sake, I would be rooting for Ryan Hunter just so then I could get my win back and look at Simon Hill in the eyes and be like, okay, that's what number one does. Simon, uh, Simon Hill has to wear a gag. That's the stipulation. You can't talk to me. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> rather kinky, that, Chris. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> nah. Well, well, gagging. <laughs> Live. Obviously, for <laughs> Dagger Apollo, oh. you can't do that. Can't do that. Yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Do you remember how we talked about Phoenix Knights before? That was the most Phoenix what? Knights. <laughs> Off air. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a fun What's fair, man. Yes. <laughs> There's kids running around. Can't be jumping up and down on a Well, I love length. <laughs> that's, that's my favourite part. Brian. He thinks it's... Ah, oh, you think it's that? No. Put some eyes on it. Hey, presto. Sammy Snake. <laughs> For the oh, listeners, we were talking about Phoenix Knights earlier, and Nick has never seen Phoenix Knights. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Is that the one with so, the other yeah. erotic, erotic bouncy castle? Yes, it is one. In the years since I watched them. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy Snake. Can't be jumping up and... It's a, it's a challenge fun day, man. Can't be jumping up and down on a love bank. Yeah, since I've seen that. Brian I do occasionally get um, when they all, they, they all, it closed down and they all got other jobs. I mean, oh, oh cool. the yeah, guy, the guy went. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I occasionally just get that popping in my head. <laughs> Don't know why. They're on sale till December. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but anyway, let's finish the show. Right, so if you enjoy the show, follow us on Twitter. It's BBG Wrestling. Our website is BBGWrestling.com. Um, again, if you, we recommend you watch both um, TNT shows when they're on powerful TV. They're spoof. Uh, well, I thought I'd just mention one more thing at the end. Just the the great thing that uh, TNT have done. Speaking of um, going watching the shows, uh, the weekend uh, Harley Hunter got injured in the TNT Ignition Rumble. Nasty, uh, has, nasty, uh, nasty. Bull. Yeah, she uh, she she broke a foot, Ow. and uh, TNT have uh, gone out of the way and uh, started to go fund me for for Harley, and she's obviously unable to walk at the minute, and mm-hmm. so. Just it's just a great thing that TNT have done, and it's, it shows that they're really taking care of uh, taking care of the talent. And you can show it shows that um, Harley's got a great sense of humour about it because um, on her big cartel page, if you, you can use the promo code Broken Foot, you get ten percent off all that stuff. <laughs> so, the, uh, well. the go the GoFundMe. Apparent, I'm just having a look at TNT's now uh, on their Instagram. If you search support Harley Hudson on GoFundMe, you can uh, you can donate there. Oh, you can also yes. buy her merch as well, like uh, like Chris says. Yes, I put I put links in the descriptions for for both. If anyone wants to go uh, there, yeah, there's, there's also the one been set up. up. Yes. <laughs> also, Ethan Kelly's had a house fire, and there's one been put up for him as well by Big T. Mm. Yeah, I will also put that in the description. So, all people doing good things at this time in January, yeah. all times. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Straight after. Yeah, we had it. Yeah, we hope Harley Hudson gets better. I think six to eight weeks she's out for. I believe so. I believe that yeah, is what. So, she, so she's so she's going to miss her uh, women's title match against Alexis Falcon at the Wrestle Island. So Wrestle Island have now announced that Alexis Falcon will be against Warren Banks for the Wrestle Island Championship instead. So it should be an interesting one going forward. So so if, so so if Alexis wins, Alexis can, then, can Harley Hudson cash in on both titles? <laughs> I have I have no idea, but whoever is the champion come December, broken foot or no broken foot, I will kick their ass. Yes. <laughs> if it's Warren Banks, if it's Alexis Falcon, if it's Harley Hudson, I don't care. I, w- I will beat them. Oh, yes. Just want them to know that. I may, I may be saying I'll support Harley Hudson now, but she'll need supporting when I fucking super kick her. In 12 months. It's 11 months. 11 months. Eleven months oh. counting down. I want a count. We should we should get a countdown on uh, every show in the description. There should be a countdown. It should say like <laughs> eleven, 11 months and this many days until Lanchevera <laughs> wins the Wrestle Island Championship. It should, it should be the title of every show. <laughs> I'm up for that. We should do that next week. Next week, yes. exact yeah, exact dates till December. So definitely. <laughs> I'm up for next week. Thing. Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night.